a seat in schools too. A mobile agriculture classroom is traveling around the state to show students what careers are available in one of Georgia's largest industries. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live from Dublin with a look at how it all works. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, the Georgia Foundation for Agriculture and the Georgia Farm Bureau are hoping that this mobile classroom will plant ideas in students' minds and make their agriculture dreams come true. Dublin City School's fourth grade students Kaylee Rozier, Tyler Marshall, and Armani Porter stepped inside this mobile classroom to get the Georgia agriculture experience. It looks, it, it looks like a fair. It, when you go in there, it's like a lot of things that you can learn. I never knew that jello and marshmallows were made from cows. I saw the pig, and it was so small. I, I heard that it like had everything that we have in our body. Georgia Farm Bureau Education Coordinator Fran Watts says they teamed up with the Georgia Foundation for Agriculture and several other agencies to launch the mobile classroom this year. To bring the students some information to inspire them so that they will think about agriculture and how it affects our state of Georgia and all the aspects and careers that are involved with uh, agriculture. The trailer has hands-on activities that engages students with facts about everything from poultry and peanuts to horticulture and cotton. You could build your own like farm, chicken house. And it was like talking about cotton and stuff, how like it was made, or you would like spin this wheel, and it would just show you how like stuff was, like cotton was made on our clothes. You can get a grocery store, you can be a farmer, you can um, do the cotton, you can, you can do a lot of things. Now, Watt says the idea for this mobile classroom came from the pandemic, actually. Since many schools aren't traveling because of COVID-19, they decided to bring the field trip experience to the students. Reporting live in Dublin, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. That is so neat, Pepper. I love that. The mobile classroom will be in Dublin for the rest of this week, and then next week they'll head on over to Trutland County.